My name is Marcia Perry and I've, I'm an artist. I've been an artist all my adult life and I mostly specialize in airbrush and also in pastel and porcelain. I'm also one of the co-founders and directors of Youth Arts Collective. I'm Meg Biddle. I'm a, an artist, a cartoon artist, illustrator, a mother, a mentor, and I am also co-founder of Youth Arts Collective. We started Youth Arts Collective in 2000. We opened on Martin Luther King Day 2000. We felt it was really important to provide a safe, pl nurturing place for young artists in the community to be able to come and explore their talents and develop their skills. And luckily, because this community has supported this effort, we have been doing this for 12 years and served about 600 kids so far. It's pretty much the greatest thing we've done with our lives aside from raising a child. I feel like we are offering these kids some confidence in the fact that they will have a voice in the larger dialogue of the creative dialogue and in community, but also giving them a home, a place of their own during a very tumultuous time in their life and in the world right now. It's also for us kind of like dinner theater. You never know what you're going to get. We ask them to be exactly who they are when they come in the door. That's how we mentor them, one to one. And so they come in with their entire universes and they're there to do their own art. They never get an assignment from us. They get help from us. We're both professional artists when they ask, how do you draw a hand, or what's wrong with the color here, or the composition, or things like that. We can help them, and then it's applied learning, and it's very rapid. But pretty much, we're there for them and their voice and help them form that. And also, for those who want to go on into art as a career, we help them with their portfolios, with commissions early on, uh, getting into art colleges or universities with great uh, art programs, and basically have a really good time there. We also do a lot of shows, both at Yak and in the community. We show at the public library. We've done shows at Monterey Museum of Art, as well as a lot of different coffee houses and the Sally Griffin Senior Center. So it gives the kids this chance to, you know, not only do their art, but show their art, which in, in my opinion, completes art is when it has been shared. Many of our kids have sold art. Our last show, we had about 600 people attend the opening and 30 of our kids sold art, and many of them for the first time. So it was really a wonderful, wonderful show. We couldn't have done this without having careers ourselves in art. I think that's really important. I learned to amuse myself early in age. I went to art college. I come from a family of public servants, and the art college that I went to, CCA, back in the early 70s, also insists that you are part of community. My partner also insists on that, and my daughter insists on that. So that's what we bring to Yak, is that sense that you can sit in there and do your art, but you really, A, need to share it, and sometimes it needs to be something that you communicate that's really valuable, most times it is, really valuable, and really authentic and genuine. And uh, for me, as a cartoonist, that's part of what I do. I get a tremendous amount of material there because they are their raw selves and they really come up with a lot of stuff. I started my career in art at age 20 with the emphatic advice of a palm reader <laughs> that had taught me yoga and Eastern philosophy. And he convinced me that I must do art. And as a child, I always occupied myself with making things. And I was remembering the other day, I walked around our neighborhood with little push carts selling hot pads that I'd made at age eight. And I kind of began my career of selling art at that point. I did not go to art school. I did go to college and got a degree in education, but I began my career in art at age 20. and 
taught myself how to airbrush because I figured no one else was doing it and I've kind of taken airbrush to a different level. I am able to pass on that to the kids at Yak. We have kids that have gotten in trouble with graffiti, so airbrush is a perfect natural segue. One in particular that is now making his living doing murals and signage with airbrush, and he's a kid that came from a really tough background. It's very gratifying seeing not only that we can help these kids get through high school and get past all the teenage hardship. I mean, it's difficult to be a teenager, but also give them tools that can help them professionally later in life. And many, many of our kids have gotten into some of the best art schools and universities based on the art that they've done at Yak, which has been kind of a wonderful surprise. It wasn't in the plans in the beginning. I always like to say we just wanted to open up an art studio for teenagers, and it just seemed very simple, but it is, it, it's really been much more than that. They also learn how to take creative risk in anything that they do. So if they went on into science, which some of them are doing, medicine. Boy, you need to take some creative risk if you're going to be a surgeon, for instance. And and business, anything like that. They, they've already learned how to do that. They've also learned that art is a very important part of their lives, so they're going to have to keep it up. But lots of them do go on to the industry of art, and the industry is vast. When I was going to college, there were either commercial artists or fine artists, and there was this huge divide between the two. I happened to have done both. I was in shows, fine art shows, and I also did commercial art. And there's, lot, there's just a huge industry, animation industry, the gaming industry, it's huge. We just try to give them options. That's really important for them. I think art is so important in the community because it gives people the chance to understand other people's viewpoints. It raises awareness and it just makes people feel better. The kids being able to do art at a young age allows for a freedom of expression that kids don't get in school. I think that Yak has provided that for so many kids and made them be comfortable with their own expression. It's also a narrative of what's been going on at this time. They express their view of it and it's also an opening to new ideas, all kinds of new ideas that we really base invention on, research development on. So it's extremely, extremely important. When people come in, I wonder what it is that they love so much about Yak. We can't write it down. We can't video it. If you come in, you hear sounds, you see things going on, and the public get really excited about it. And I realized what it was, it's the experience of witnessing the creative process. If you close your eyes at Yak, sometimes it's one of my favorite things to do, and I just hear the dialogue, the chatter, some of it's hysterical, because they're allowed to say anything they want there. This is their place. They need to be authentic. We need to know them so we can mentor them. But you hear the dialogue, you hear what they're doing, we, what they're creating, what happened at school, what happened the night before, and just the, the bantering back and forth, their futures are almost palpable right there. It's just the most rewarding experience. And that's what turns people on when they come in. And that's what they want their community to experience. That's what they want to experience. They always say, what age do you have to be? <laughs> no, we always yes. think, I always say, I'm the oldest yakster. I tell the kids that art is about truth and beauty and the truth isn't always pretty and it's important for them to express both. At Yak, our, our main rules are do art and be kind and that sets a tone for everyone that walks in there, whether you're 14 and a freshman in high school or 20 and a, you know, ready to graduate from college. Everybody's equal there and they treat each other accordingly. And that, it's just a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Without competition, there's, you know, we, I think we live in a culture that is kind of stewed in competition. 
and it's really hard for the creative to be able to truly feel confident and express themselves without judgment. And if you come to our shows, you'll see the results of very individualized artwork. It's not like walking into a school where everybody's got the same assignment. Everybody at Yak has a very unique expression and they get comfortable with that. This is <clears throat> an experiment that we tried 12 years ago and it works. It absolutely works and it will continue to work. It's a growth industry. <laughs> and I think that it would be great to include more and more of the community because of their enthusiasm, because they really want to have that experience themselves. So at some point, we would love to grow someday and include the community in that. And we are going to need help when we do that, and we always need help to stay open. I'd love to see this be a visual art center in Monterey so that the community could use it as well based on the innovation and courage of youth. Yes. And we are alive because of this community and it speaks highly for the community that they see value in such a program. About 50% of our funding comes from local foundations and the other 50% comes from private donations, dues, and sales. And we are so lucky to be alive. We're always so happy that Yak has made it through another year. And we're here because of the community. And we often get approached about this program and people from other towns talk to us about starting a Yak, a youth arts collective. And we are very happy to tell anyone anything we can to help them because there should be places like this all over the country for kids. And not just in art, in all the trades. I think it's really important for adults to pass on what they've learned to the young, that that's kind of the circle of life that needs to, needs to keep going. And again, it's it's not, it has nothing to do with competition. It has to do more with cooperation and being able to be truly creative in a community and include, include all, all the different generations.